Just gotta put some diesel in the truck and we should be ready to go for work. This is some expansive fuel too. Hey, work, loser! Oh no, you don't! That son of a gun Buck beat me to work! Oh no, we're gonna hear it all day from Buck. He beat me to work. He never beats me to work. Did the fruit cake get behind on his coffee this morning? I was, I would, alarm clock didn't go off. Gosh darn it, did Jerry leave the door open? He must have. Ah shoot, okay at least it's a back door. We should be good. We gotta get these Chevys unloaded and start figuring out what we're gonna do with these and get them put on the lot right. for sale because uh, cash flow is a little tight right now, Buck. So if we get yep. these sold here, that'd be nice. What was it wrong with that Ford, the 6.7? I think there is a glow plug problem. It's not firing right. So it's just having a little bit of a grumpy time. That or just needs a tune because somebody did a delete on one of those and I don't think the shop that did it did it right. Okay, and that that's Craig, right? I believe so. Okay, and is that David's truck back there? I think that is. I think this one they're tuning up the shocks. Okay. Because something, again, something just wasn't attached right when they did these. If we're, we're basically fixing other people's mess ups. I know, I know. We'll get these taken care of and then All we should run. be good. You want to come with me? I got to pick up, there's a 72 F100 I saw on Facebook last night that we're going to put by. I'm thinking, depending on the price. And then there was some other stuff there. I, do you want to come? Or I guess you go. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get up with this just because I want to try and keep us on schedule. Okay. I'll give you a ring in case anything else happens right now. But as for now, I'll just, I'll just have to stay here. Okay. You want to take the flatbed uh, there? We don't have time to get those unloaded. I'll just take the, uh, we'll take the backup truck. We'll just take the gooseneck. Okay. That'll work good. I'll get your door open. You can be on your way. Yeah. If I need help getting it started or something, I may give you a ring. Okay. It's been sitting for a while, but uh, I got jumper cables in the back. I got toolbox in the back, so we should be good. You got, you got our um, jump box, correct? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We should be good. Is this trailer all ready to go? Brakes checked and everything? It should be. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a couple hours, Buck. If you guys are new or wondering what this is, this is uh, RCC, Rolling Cold Customs. We got our own truck dealership, and uh, we're hoping to expand the business. I mean, we just got started in business, and as you can see, our lot is pretty dead right now. So we don't have much inventory on the lot, and we're trying to buy a couple more trucks off Facebook, Craigslist, and get some decent deals on them. They're usually bone stock, and then we take them, we flip them, and we actually do a lot, add a lot of parts to them and uh, make them look pretty sweet. A lot of our main customers are honestly like 15 to 30 year olds, I'd say. We have some stock trucks, and then we have some just crazy outrageous lifted trucks. This truck we saw on Facebook last night, it was only like it's only like a couple of miles south of us, so it's really not that far um, south of us. I think I know the owner too, or I've heard of the last name of the owner. So this is just our work truck. It's a 2016 F250. It has a lot of miles on it, but I mean, if we keep maintenance up on it good, it should uh, should be a nice little work truck for us. If we start having hauling heavy loads, we got to put on the dually, but uh, this does good for smaller loads. I think that's the place over there. So what it is, this is a 1972 F100. Oh, we missed the driveway. They got a long road down here. I don't know the backstory on this at all. Hopefully the guy will let me know and stuff, because I think he said he hasn't ran in quite a few years. Well, we'll see if they're home. Hey, we're on here. Hello, screw it. Oh, I'm right back over here, bud. Oh, I'll back. Hey, Jace, right? That's me. Hey, uh, so, okay, 72? Yeah. Was it your wife or you that were, I was messaging on Facebook last night? I think it was me for a bit of it. I don't, I don't necessarily know for sure. I, okay. I, I definitely was talking a little bit back and forth. I really, 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 really don't want to get rid of any of these things. These are some very, very sentimental vehicles, but times are getting a little tougher for me this year. And I, if I, if I don't sell either, at least one of them, I can't afford, I can't afford seat for the fields. So you selling everything? As much as I can, at least. If these are the only things that I at least have that are worth enough that could at least cover the cost because i can't get okay. any more loans right now i'm just kind of in a really tight spot yeah yeah no i get it i get it um where's this uh 72 at so so you both of those are in both of those right now are in uh the shed in the back okay you got keys and stuff for them yeah this semi you selling this or you need it for the farm i don't necessarily need it but i really don't want to sell it there's a lot of stories behind the stuff that's being bought that's why i don't want to sell these things at all huh I get it. This truck is, yeah, I can I can tell you the story after once we get these things looked at, but that truck especially I don't want to sell. Nice place you got here. Well, thank you, sir. The layout was, uh, this is one of my First relatives. gen? Farmer? No, this is this is my uncle's place. I ended up trying to take over for him once he decided to kind of take a, a little bit of a dump. But these are the two trucks, 1972 F100 
And then the International uh, 1206. This is a part of the Murphy Bros Empire right here. This is one of their top tractors. No one could ever get the other one. There was another tractor on that farm that a lot of people wanted, but the other brother, there was two brothers, the Murphy Brothers, Grant and Buck Murphy. Okay. Everyone always called Buck Uncle Buck. He was definitely like an uncle to a lot of people. He took care of a lot of friends. He but was an uncle to you, or you worked? You just worked for him? I just worked for him. They called him Uncle Buck because he treated everybody like they were family. Oh, got this it. This was this was more his brother's tractor. The one brother's tractor ended up getting dedicated as display art to one of the dealers that he worked at. If you ever heard of Prairie State? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard yeah, of them. Well, yeah. Oh, what were they beforehand? Oh, I forgot those guys. Oh, and the sons. Oh, and the sons. Yeah, yeah. This is Grant's tractor, the tractor that everybody wanted but nobody could get. They ended up getting towed off when they ended up passing. My buddy Charlie, who worked with uh, Buck hand in hand at the dealer, he ended up having to tow him on a hay rack. Him and his mm -hmm. brother side by side to the bat with the boxes on a hay rack, and they t towed him to the cemetery to get their burial. It was it was one heck of a way to go out, but the tractor pulling the hay wagon was uh, a 50-20, a big big 50-20. I ended up inheriting this plus Grant's truck. It's Gosh, it's definitely it's, yeah. I don't want to get rid of these. Gotcha. We just needed to go to somebody who's obviously going to take care of it, maybe give it a second life or do something. It's like I said, this I'm basically a second owner. He just drove this. Well, it was supposed to be a Sunday driver, but then he ended up taking road trips and hauling all the way across the map. I mean, he went from Iowa up to Wisconsin and then back down to Iowa again. This truck's been everywhere. Jason, I want to buy it. I'm going to be honest up front. I own a company called RCC Roco Customs. This uh -huh. truck isn't going to stay like this. So what oh. I want to do, because gosh, it's in perfect condition too. I was walking into this deal thinking, we, we, I mean, we we're going to take this truck and we we're going to take the frame body, strip it down, put a lift, 38 inch tires, make it all crazy. You know, the, the stuff an old guy doesn't like, but a, you know, 16 year old teenager uh, drools over pretty much. But I think if I buy it from you, I'm going to keep it stock. There's another 70, ah, it's a 71 or 72 on Facebook, about 12 miles west of here. That it's a little worse condition. All, I didn't realize the body was, was this I nice. Will, I say the only thing that I would say is if you were to take this one and do that to it, you have to keep something that would resemble the Murphy brothers. Because Grant was more or the less, he was a very serious character. Like he took his job seriously. But he did every now and then like to do a couple extra things for the farm. So giving this truck maybe a little bit more of a stock but bigger feeling, he would appreciate that. Because he always yeah. did want to do something with it. But that is literally, that is... If you want to keep this thing stock, you go right ahead. But all I ask is I know Buck would kill you. Buck would kill me for selling this thing to a guy that's going to do that to it. He was a stickler. Huh. How, how much are you asking for, Jace? I can't do anything less than 35 oh, Gosh. Jace, could you do 30 I can't. 35 is my bottom dollar. These things I cannot sell. How many, that is the how many miles are on it? It's got at least 120000 The interior is so mint on this truck, too. It says it only has 20,000, but it's been rolled over at least once. So it's got about 120,000 on the rounds. He kept this thing in a shed all of its life. It yeah. hardly ever sat outside. She cranks right over. Gosh, she sounds good. Spin, not, no, no, no I ahead. don't. There's not a single speck of rust on this, too. It's well, it stings for being a farm truck, but that's about it. Jace, contract on the purchase agreement, 33,000, and I keep it stock when it's in my ownership. Dead stock. Jace. I think I'll take that. I'll take that deal. If as long as the truck stays the way it is, I'm more than happy to sell it to you. Okay, you got yourself a deal. All right. As for the 12 O's Hicks, I kind of have a ballpark margin. Ah, you be you able know, to I do... wasn't coming here thinking I was gonna buy a tractor, but uh, I know. But like I, said, what, I, what price I need you... the money. Yeah. What price I mean, you got on it? Could you do 17.5? Yeah. I. I mean, oh, wait, 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 wait a sec. Does it have a? Oh, it has a 540 and 1000 PTO. Yeah, we got. I mean, it makes I think a great gonna, ram yeah. deal. deal I got to talk to my. Yeah, I got to talk to my uh, uh, co-owner, but I think we're getting a batwing mower, which should work on this tractor. So uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do seventeen five, Jace. Yeah, they'll work good. All right, and and you guys are just down the road, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, at least I can come by and see this stuff. I know these guys want it. If anything, if this was going to somebody, they always wanted to help the community. So these guys would definitely appreciate at least going back to work. We don't want these things sitting in the sheds. I yeah. haven't been able to use this thing for however long. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's uh, let, let me grab cash out of the truck and then uh, let's load these up. Well, Jason, you want the 1206 or? Well, I guess. We'll I, the... 
I personally don't care which one we do first. I, I like I said, I just I don't even really want to know that I'm doing this. Okay, I'll uh, I'll load both up then. Oh, we're good. All just, right. I got a couple ratchet straps. Grab them out of the out of the back of my truck there. Here you go straight up. You good? She gonna bottom nice out? It, nope. You're good. What's nice is that Grant's truck was the automatic. Buck had one of these too. It was brown and tan, but his was a manual. Okay, well, uh, well, uh, I don't think we're gonna fit the, uh, the 1206 on. I'll come back for it, actually. I can, I can actually drive that one down there. Well, maybe we should flip-flop it then. That way you can drive this faster down the road. Hold the tractor. Hop on down from that. Yeah, I'll toss you a strap there, Jace. Get this strap down. I pinched my finger. Oh, oh. God, I, I got some first aid in the truck or something. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. This is why they never had me drive tractors. Okay. Oh. I, all good. All good. If you need anything, oh, let me know. I got, I got first aid there. Or... Oh, I should be fine. I, th I think I'm good now. I'll just, I'll just get in the truck and I'll drive down. Follow you. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll work good. Hey, your finger okay? Yeah, I think I got it figured out all fine. Okay, let me get this unloaded, and then I'm going to actually pick up another 73. We're going to go take a look at it, so I'll drop you off quick. All right, sounds good, bud. Thank you. I guess, Jace, you want to do the honors? Back her off? Last time, wouldn't hurt. Better treat her well, boys. No, we will. Probably paint the rims a little bit. A little rust chips on them. That'll do. Well, we got Jace dropped off, and then I, uh... We bought another truck. It's a 72. I thought it was 73 or 71. It's actually 72, so same year as that other truck. It's It's got like a tan color. It doesn't look as nice, and it's got a lot more miles on it. But uh, it's a five speed. I think this is the one we're gonna turn into a crazy lifted truck and try and sell. And uh, we're gonna probably throw a lot of money at this. It was an older guy that had it. He didn't really care as much for it. But the other one we had, I was like, gosh, I can't, I can't destroy this truck. I mean, this guy, this had some sentimental value. So we're going to keep it stock. Looks like Buck's back too. I thought you were buying one truck. <laughs> Long story short, bought two. I found another one, but I think we're going to make good money on these. At least this one I got on the trailer. Why do you have a tractor? Okay, and a tractor. Okay, so long story short, this one I thought was going to be rusted out we more. Wasted this, more of our money. This I know, I know, I know. This is bone stock, and uh, dude, no yeah. rust. Try and find rust. What the heck did you find a truck yeah, like yeah, this I'll, out here? Do you want me to grab the magnifying glass? I mean, because you're not going to find anything. So I can see a little bit of surface rust up here, but that's nothing. Yeah. So I was like, we can't just. We're not going to just destroy this truck, and it had some sentimental value to the guy too. So I. We got a little cheaper price. We gotta because make money. I know, I know. We're gonna make money. I we'll we'll see. We'll see on the truck. Anyway, so this truck. Oh, that's underbody, <laughs> underbody. Uh it's uh <laughs> yeah. it's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's a little rough. So I'm thinking we'll see on it. Are you thinking I'm thinking like forty two inch tires or thirty eights? I think we've got some in stock. Yeah, Giant lift kit, like flatbed, new hood, paint it. Probably. New exhaust. Oh, dude, we have we have a uh, we have a Cummins and we have an old Power Stroke in the back. We could throw the Cummins in this. Cummins swap it. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It gives it a little bit more torque. Cause what is it? A 302? Yeah, it's five speed. So we can can we use the transmission or no? I don't <laughs> know, and I don't think it'd be recommended if we do. Yeah, yeah, but this is gonna turn into a good project truck. I wanna let's get this thing going right away. Did you check whether or not the thing actually ran half yeah, no, decent? She she ran right up on the trailer there. Well, then uh, why would we engine swap it? Well, if we're going to make it look cool, we can't just put an old gasser with no horsepower and torque in there. we got to put something nice in there. I mean, it sounds it good. It sounds good, but there's an exhaust I mean, leak on it. Like, so that's see, why. There's, there's, I yeah. can smell it. Yeah. This is your truck. I'll let you uh, you tell me what you want to do on her. I'll check timing, check basics, and everything else on it. If it ends up, we might as well just put a Cummins in it just yeah. for the fun of it. Yeah. I don't necessarily know, but I'll, kinda, I'll see what I can do. Okay. I think Buck is done with it. He's been pulling pretty much all nighters. He just got finished tonight after work with the project. There she is. Yeah. Is that puppy <laughs> Holy crap, Buck. Nice job on this build, man. Get those doors open, boy. Come out of here. Oh, yeah. Ah, 
gosh dang so you went with 37s on there 39s 39s uh 39 bf goodrich uh mud terrains yeah got a i believe six inch lift i wasn't in charge of that but it's got a fox shock suspension it's still technically a solid axle we still have an old style of leaf spring suspension on here but we did put track bars for the stability wise yeah uh in other words on that because this gets got, wobble right yeah this did have that uh it was that older one you bought that was a two-wheel drive variant so yeah. i like license plate it was, yeah we got a couple of those in now for uh mail wise of course we needed to go get ourselves a transfer case because this thing would need to have been uh swapped out because what we did end up swapping into the cummins okay uh 5.9 24 valve but we have it mounted to a tr450 so it's a five speed now instead of a four speed it's got a lot uh i believe we still had the manual locking hubs no actually it does not i was not in charge so i couldn't tell you but it does have uh, locking differentials yeah. so you it can crawl uh the five speed five speed uh basically is just the fifth gears overdrive we got kc roll bar kc front end uh, we have one last thing we need to do this and if we got a camel bumper that we're going to put on the back of this uh, we just haven't gotten it in yet. I think it's probably supposed to get here either tomorrow or the next day. We also have a bulletproof drop hitch we're going to put on this thing. Okay. Still haven't gotten that in yet. But we also did do an interior swap. Instead of being a bench seat, now we got two bucket seats that were custom upholstered. Uh, so the entire inside of the truck is basically a brown leather. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, yeah. we also, and then of course the paint job went from the... I believe that was like Tuscan gold or something that the truck was before. It's now Pacific blue with a summit white for the two-tone. Gosh, even the roof, the headliner, everything. Custom LED headlights and taillights all the way around. Roof lights are all done. Yeah. Uh, we did up putting some mud flaps on there. We only thing we also might have to do is put a little step on this thing. I don't necessarily want to do a full-fledged step side, but it does need something to at least if we have an older clientele or a shorter clientele uh like myself jumping in and out of this thing is gonna get old pretty quickly yeah i mean there's a there's a couple little steps i've seen online that we could toss in there probably something like that oh yeah can, can i take it for a spin go right ahead i was gonna wait in the morning because i'm shot i'm going home Well, it's the next day, and uh, I didn't get a chance to drive it too much at night. You couldn't almost see the truck. Buck's going to put it on the elevator to showcase this a little better. But, uh, yeah, that was a nice job on the truck. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this second episode of RCC. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And, hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.